All right, so I found out what uh what I need to do. So I actually have to brand the first guy, uh, the Talon, the first Talon. Um, not sure. There he is. So just gotta sneak up here, do a little brand action. Uh, wait, wait, nope, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> I think I kind of missed my opportunity there. Uh, when I ran into the battle, so uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I can still brand him nonetheless. Oh, now he found us. Baradour is rebuilt. Maldoom is aflame. The fall of men is here, and Sauron will conquer all. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, whoa, there's a. Little overlord dude trying to stab me there. Uh, dodging, running at me. Ow! You, you fool maggots. Okay. You know, my guys are doing a pretty good job. I'm happy with that. Fourth talent of the hand. It's very, very kind of you. Well, we're about to uh, kill you. You'll never kill us all. The kingdoms of men are doomed. Well, I wouldn't say that necessarily, especially after this. Yeah, not so good for you. Or are you? Once I came at you, came at you, bro. Oh, whoa, who's throwing at me? Let me just kill a bunch of dudes here now that I've activated the powerful blade action. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, Push Cream. Push Cream was killed. No. All right, now you're dead. Oh, 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 oh. God, I love it. Fifth hand. Is now missing a head. Okay, now the ability is gone. But we're still popping heads. And he's staggering at the, the epicosity of that one. I don't think he uh, liked that. Oh, good job, guys! <laughs> I think he was killed by one of our best followers over there. Let's shoot a little flame arrow at this fool. Well, ow, oh, he gave me a little shock. Can we pin this fool? I bet we can. Let's see if we can pin him. There we go. You guys know what to do. I think they're going to do a pretty good job of making sure he's getting all killed. Oh, whoa, someone's doing ground pounds. Uh-oh. Woo. I like the way that sounded. It was pretty cool. What we need to do is get this guy pinned. There we go. You guys do your business on him. While I take care of the minions over here. He's a goner. Oh, missed. Whoop, whoop, hurt my own guy there. Better go kill the little nugget over here. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. All right, first hand's gone. I knew they could take care of him. I knew they could do it. I was confident. Confident of that. Good job, guys. Hmm, who could I go and drain? And where am I supposed to go now? Oh, over there. Okay. That was, uh, was great. That was fantastic. What fun, what fun. What fun, what fun. I'm a little rusty, I feel like, just after this not being able to play. With shadow and flame falling on the black gate. Haven't uh, really sharpened my skills against the Uryx. I've just kind of been running into battle a little bit on the weak side. The power of the One Ring or the Ringmaker, he cannot take form. 
He will be trapped within Mordor, no more than an eye of flame bound to his dark tower. And at last I can die, and none will avenge me. Well, there you go. That was an interesting little little tidbit of information. So, come to find out, um, he can't take form unless he has the ring of power, which I think he has, doesn't he? I don't, I don't know. He needs a ring bearer for whatever reason. He needs the ring maker, I mean, which is Calibrimbor. And why are all these ladders here? This is getting annoying. So, cool, interesting stuff. I'm, uh, I'm excited to fight this guy. Very cool, this is the precursor to Shadow of War right here. Use the Ring of Power to take the orcs to take on them to save his family. Nice! I'll let you watch. Boy, oh boy. The Dark Lord gave you a second chance to stand by his side. Now I give you no choice. We shall be sealed together in death. So be it. Return to me. Oh snap, didn't see this happening! Oh, what just happened? What just took place? Strike down, Johnny! I cannot hold it for much longer! Oh, just a little bit on the ankle. Little bit on the face. Way to go, Talion! Even with your neck slit. Okay, and then the Caleb Brimbor came back in his body, I guess. Is that what I saw? Could you really rest for all of eternity? 
knowing that you had the chance to stop him, but did nothing. Oh, <laughs> you know, I totally forgot that he said his time has come for a new ring. So, Monolith, did you know and predict that you'd be doing a sequel? And in that sequel, did you know that you were going to have a new ring of power? I guess you did, because that was fantastic. Well, thanks for sticking around for the storyline. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't jump into now some nemesis forging. That's going to be fantastic. Look at those awesome people. Hats off to you, amazing game designers. Hats off to you. Way to go. It's still loading, so I can't skip screen. Anyways, hats off to you. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to have a good cutscene here, bring you guys back, see what we can't do in the Nemesis Forge, and follow up missions. So let's take a look there. Before I go in this episode, we're not done yet. Stick around just for just a moment. Jump okay, right here. as you can see here. We defeated the Black Hand of Sauron and driven Sauron back to the ruins of Baradur. However, the Dark Lord Shadow remains. Hold back the rising tide of his army by continuing to hunt captains and war chiefs, rescuing the remaining outcasts trapped within Mordor. Discover any remaining secrets and collectibles, and complete the legends of your weapons. Which, of course, there's the bow and the dagger still, so those are great. We're in the end game, and as such, it is now time to find some nemesis. Some nemesis. Some Nemesodians. So let's go ahead and see if we can't go into the Nemesis Forge. Ooh! Let's see who survived. Who all survived? Wait, these are new new war captains? War chiefs? Ah, yes, yes, indeed they are. It appears that our original followers. Ah! <laughs> they're, uh, they're dead. Interesting. So I don't know what happened to our followers. Was that supposed to happen? You know what? I know. We're in a different region. That's what it was. So we've, we've gone back to the other region, and I think that's what caused us to uh, lose our followers for whatever reason. Yeah, maybe so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if we go over here, we yeah, travel to the Sea of Noonan. Noonan, whatever. So, yeah. So there's that. There's that. Um, Cool, cool. Um, You know, I'm just kind of... The loss as to what to do at this point. Let's check out the Nemesis Forge, shall we? All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look into the Nemesis Forge, see what it looks like right now, and begin there for the following episode as we get into Nemesis Forging. Here we go. What does the Nemesis Forge look like? I'm really curious to see. My greatest nemesis and your most loyal follower are indicated, yes, with those little icons. So we're going to go take a look and see what kind of nemesis we can find. I really want to find someone who's going to be pretty strong. He's not going to be weak, pushover. I want to find someone totally super evil, bad, hard to defeat. Make itself a challenge. Although Shadow of War does look like a challenge in and of itself. But I'm excited because this is a new chapter of the gameplay series and one which we're going to be forging followers and a nemesis that are perfect for us. It's going to take some time, but it's going to be worth it. And I think this is something we've all been looking forward to. So I'm going to be making sure to share little tips and tricks as to how to do such and getting a nemesis and follower. So initially, uh, let's take a look at this army. So the Nemesis Forge just went ahead and brought in some guys, filled in the gaps. And it looks like these guys are on the low end. Anyone over here is the ones that I've least interacted with. And then as far as a follower goes, it looks like Meat Grinder is the follower fascinating and he's not a bad follower because as you can see he's got gang leadership deadly quick turn battle hardened I mean he's got some pretty serious awesome stuff and he's invulnerable to range so I have to say that is a very quite powerful then here is our nemesis he's an assassin um, and backlash that's gonna make it difficult to kill him he's battle hardened and he's deadly so yeah he's definitely 
got some awesome stuff there. He has a fear of burning, however, and that is his greatest weakness. Oh, oh, and look, he's made his way up here. One of our more interacted ones. I just can't remember Meat Grinder that much, I have to be honest. So this is what we're currently really looking at. Ukram the Bleeder and, and Blood Licker. Not bad. Does he have explosive arrows? No, he doesn't. And then we have the Poisoner over here. Also pretty lame looking. What is that? Like a giant squid on your face with talons? I don't know, but we got some pretty lame ones going on here. Uh, so come back for the next episode. We're going to go into the Nemesis Forge. I'm excited about that and seeing what we can do to make some better nemesis. This dude's not, not going to cut it. Let me just put it that way. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Bring you daily content of Shadow of Mordor gameplay and Shadow of War information. This is Hero87, your host, signing off. Sayonara, sidekicks.